Hello, fellow book questers. It is I, Aaron the book Quester. Today, I will introduce you to this awesome David Williams book, Demon Dentist by David Williams. The jaw achingly funny number one bestseller. Mm -mm. Winner of the National Book Award. Whoa, that sounds like fun, doesn't it? And let's go straight into it. So, I've put the background of David Wallen's book that I have, which is sadly is only four books, but I plan on purchasing more. And the, the Midnight Gap, I've done all the book questers except the Midnight Gap, which I will do soon after. And the Demon Dentist. It's about a boy named Alfie who hasn't gone to the dentist or did any flossing or, or cleaning of his teeth for six years. Whoa. And he had some of his teeth missing because they had just fallen off and his teeth were rotten and full of cavities. You see, his first experience with the dentist had not been so good. For, he had a tooth that was so, so, so bad that he had to take it, that the dentist had to take it out. And he, and they did. But it was the wrong tooth. They had taken out a perfectly fine white tooth instead of the, what was the cavity? <coughs> Excuse me. And whoa, whoa, that was, wow, that's just cruel. And he dreaded going to the dentist again, yet again. And now, a new dentist arrived to town because of the sad passing of the current dentist. The new dentist's name is Miss Root. And here are the characters. As I said, Alfie, a boy with rotten teeth. Dad, Alfie's dad. Gab's a little girl. Miss Root, a dentist. Fang, her cat. In my opinion, those are the main, main characters in the book. And I would say these guys, but... Well, I can't tell you everything. Come on, let's go straight into it. So, Alfie. So this new dentist has what, and and a lot of new things is going on right now. He has a new social taker, a social worker, whose name is Winnie, and she is here to help Alfie and his dad because they are, you have to say, quite a sorry state. Well, exactly. So. The social worker is there to help them, named Winnie, and he doesn't like Winnie at all. She takes all their food, and she doesn't feel an ounce of guilt about it. And she, when she, when she sees out these teeth, she gasps, and she immediately sets up an appointment, an appointment with the dreaded Miss and when he's taken there, Miss Root says, Ah, oh, beautiful cavities. And he's forced. He's chained onto a chair. And she she gets her her little her little dental equipment that looks like torture devices and takes out every single one of Alfie's teeth. And <gasps> that's horrendous! Who shall pay? For this terrible crime. And she and then Miss Root got away with it yet again. And and Gab's a little girl who knew and so Alfie decided uh, had known since Miss Root had come one of the new things that I've I've mentioned before, mind you, the new things that were happening. One of the things was a little girl, a little boy, 
got their teeth taken out because it was wobbly, and they put it under, oh, uh, under their pillow, of course, waiting for the toothpick. But when they op when they looked under their pillow, they were met with a horrendous sight. Oh, uh, a pig's eyeball, a huge tarantula, a live rat. Uh, the cow of a tongue still, still twitching. Uh, the tail of a rat, and even more. And wow, that's just wow. Who would want a squirming eyeball under their pillow, huh? Huh? When they expected a coin. That's just not right. That's not right. <clears throat> and it was a problem. No, it was a disease. They had to find out who or what that has been doing this. That by that them, I mean Alfie and one of the main characters, Gubs, a little girl. And so Alfie set up a trap. She got one of Raggy's tooth, and they put it under his pillow. And he, <coughs> excuse me, knew, knew the tooth, whatever it is, would come to take it. And you know what they had to do? They had to wait and wait and wait. One, one time, he thought it, was, it, hap it finally happened, but it was actually Raj, the friendly new Satan, who who had given up his teeth for this for this dreadful mission, and he uh, had worried. And a freezing breeze came in, and they latched the window. <coughs> they latched the window, and they and when and when Alfie looked under the pillow, there was a still twitching eyeball of a. Oh, that's disgusting! Hello, and they and and then they discussed it. They called Alfie's dad. They discussed it even more. And then, what would they do? And they discussed it. And they said, "Well, well, well." I, I, I Alfie knew that no one had taken it before. Rad. He had actually touched it when Rad was when he thought of another presence with him. And after that freezing gust of wind, he had not touched the eyeball. I mean, the the tooth. What? What does this mean? Does this mean something even more horrendous than? anything else that means the the truth thief what whoever or whatever it was was still in the room they checked every hiding spot and finally they checked under the bed and under there was a pair of eyes and with the yowl the pair of eyes jumped out, and before they could see the clear shape of whatever that was, it jumped out of the window and was not seen again. And he knew in his heart that it was Miss True, Miss Root, and her terrible little white cat, Fang. And what would she want to do with all those tooths, teeth? Why would she want those teeth? Why? And she was soon about to find out. Gabs, the little brave girl, wanted to know what was going on around here. And she knocked, knock, knocked the door on the dentist's surgery. She went in, expecting a little bit of a treatment. But the dentist decided to treat the little girl the same fate as Alfie's tooth suffered. Mm -hmm. Later, she decided to take 
every single one out. And Alfie knew she had to she, she had to save her. And Winnie happened to be happened to just chilling on next to him. So Winnie helped me, and of course she didn't believe him. Who would? But when they heard, started to hear the screaming, she believed them. They jumped on her little motorcycle and they sped along. They sped along, and they and they bashed into the dent, the dentist, the the surgeon, and the evil Miss Root revealed herself as the teeth, as the tooth. Which and she had been stealing tooth, children's tooth for centuries. She was pure, untamed evil, in other words, and she basically wanted to do something even more terrible than anyone else. She wanted to, to have every single children's tooth that, that was inside, that was in the little town, the worst evil ever. Imagined. What will they do? What will they do? The tooth, the tooth witch, not the tooth fairy, mind you, took Gabs as hostage and went to the old mine. What will they do? The ending you must, I must keep to myself. It's for you to read. Why do I keep this from you guys? Huh? That's because it's too funny. I mean, if I explain to you, it will already be spoiled. And when you finally read it, read it, it will be much more funnier than I can explain it. Because of course the book is better than me. It's the book. I'm explaining the book. Second hand? Uh-oh. First hand? Yep. And, yeah. And your, and your laughter will not be strained because you knew uh, an inkling of the plot of the end. And it's a great, joyous, humorous, jiking, David Williams book. And like always, your bookquester, I'm the bookquester.